Hello, this is a short video to demonstrate the capabilities of the tool that we are developing to generate the geometry of rotary endodontic files and perform it, uh, a finite element stress analysis of the generated geometry. In this part, we have the definition of the geometry. Uh, first, we select the type of cross section. At this moment, we have a triangular and a squared cross section. And here we have the rest of the parameters that define the, geomet the geometry. We have the diameter of the shaft and the diameter at the tip of the, of the tool. We have the length of the active part and the total length for the rotary and rontic file. We also can define a pitch and the parabola coefficient that it's a coefficient that allows us to, pro to provide a smooth transition from the active uh, part to the, to the shaft. And finally, here we have the size of the mesh that will be generated for the geometry. If we accept these parameters as they are, we can see here that the geometry has been generated. We can rotate the model. And as you can see, this is quite a coarse mesh. So we can now specify a finer mesh. And now we can see that the triangles are smaller. So the features, geometrical features of the endodontic rotary file are more accurate. Of course, we can change any other parameter. For example, we can double the pitch. And now we update and we have this, this new geometry. Uh, once we have the geometry generated, we can export for a finite element analysis or for a STL file. So we can open it with uh, any CAD software. And if we export for a finite element model, we will need to define the elastic parameters of the material, which include the elastic modulus and the Poisson coefficient, and also the loading and boundary conditions for the finite element model that include the length of the encastre in millimeters and also the transversal force and the torsional moment that are applied at the, at the tip of the tool.